Hello guys, it's Michael, and I want to give you a quick walkthrough of how I've been able to integrate WP Ultimo with Thrivecart using my new plugin. So let's get started. This is my website, so we're going to click on GoPro now to go through the process. Um, we're going to first thing that we're going to see is all managed through WP Ultimo. So here are my package plans. I'm going to go ahead and select this for sake of this demo. The rest of this process, like I said, is managed through WP Ultimo. So I hope that majority of you probably already know how Ultimo works and you're just interested in seeing how Thrivecart uh, is able to integrate with it. So here we are. It's just going to ask me some basic questions um, and I'm just going to make something up to get us going. Again, we're just going through this process real quickly just to get through it so we can see the next step, which is going to be how it integrates with Thrivecart. So now the system is sending it from WP Ultimo to Thrivecart, and it's going to give us the ability to pay. So we'll wait for that to take place. So here we are. Payment integration needed. We now need to complete your payment settings setting up a payment subscription use the buttons below to add an integration so we're going to complete order and this is thrivecart and so i'm just going to fill in the blanks real quickly yes email me marketing tips and so this is the advantage of having thrivecart as opposed to it's one of the many advantages i should say of having thrivecart manage your checkout process um, over having WP Ultimo do it. And that's because they allow for order bumps, upsells, downsells throughout this whole process. So this is an order bump. If you have a special one-time offer, um, you can add it here. And then that gets automatically added to their order and they put their credit card information and complete it or they can go to PayPal. Um, Thrivecart also allows for Apple Pay and Google Pay on the back end, so those are options as well. I'm not going to obviously complete this part of the process um, now. This just would go through and the order would be collected on Thrivecart side. So with that said, I am going to go back over to um, now into my admin and show you how this is all set up. So here we are. The first thing you're going to want to do is install the plugin as normal. I don't think we need to show you how to do that. But once you install the plugin, you want to network activate it and then click on license activation Thrivecart. Whenever you make a purchase from us, you'll receive an email with your license key. And so you're going to put place that here and click on activate. This has already been activated. As you'll see, license key successfully activated for this site. Um, so now the next thing you'll want to do is go to your settings in WP Ultimo. And so I have that on another tab so we, for sake of uh, speed. Um, so it'll bring you to your general tab. What you want to do is click on your payment gateways tab inside WP Ultimo. And now you want to select Thrivecart instead of any of the other payments. These other payments are also handled through Thrivecart, so there's no longer needed here if you're using Thrivecart. We give you a bit of instructions, but I'm going to go ahead and go through each one of these things for you so you can see exactly how it works and what our options are. So once you've installed it, you select the Thrivecart, you can change your button label, and that is the button that's here where it says complete order. If I change that, it'll change it there. And there are other button settings. So you can change the text color, the background color, the width of the button, the height of the button, the alignment of the button, and the font size. Then you also have the alignment for the heading. And there is a link that comes with um, WP Ultimo that places a link here that says go to your account now. And I prefer to remove that so that your customer is only really giving given one option, which is complete their order instead of being asked to go to their account where then they're told that they don't have, um, their payment hasn't been processed yet. So it kind of eliminates that extra step and it just it gets them to where you want them to be. And so that is that. Um, so we, we have that hidden. Uh, if you want to show it, obviously you have that option. And then you can also change everything from line left to line right. And this is all referring to again, uh, how this information here is being presented on this page. So once you've got that figured out and you saved your changes, um, the next step is your account settings. And so here is where we're going to put Thrivecart information. I now currently have it pre-populated, but I'm going to show you how that's going to work in one second when we go back to Thrivecart and start to set up the account. 
and then you also have your plans. All the plans that you have within WP Ultima will show up here, and it's going to ask for a product ID number. Um, and I'm about to show you exactly how to get that as well. So here we go. So now we're we want to go to our Thrive Card account, assuming you have one, and or once you get one set up, this is what you're going to do. Um, you're going to have products. You're going to create a new product. It's a really simple process, but for sake of time, again, for this video, I'm not going to create one from scratch, but I'm just going to edit one to show you kind of how easy it is to, to work um, their system. So you can give your product a name, a label, uh, a URL, whether it's in test mode or live mode, and who's the owner of that product. So you have multiple users on your account. You can select who's going to receive that email once that product is purchased. Then we take that product, we go to pricing. I can edit the pricing here. Uh, is it going to be a subscription, split pay, one-time fee, pay your own price? Uh, this is a pretty unique feature that Thrivecart offers if you want to give them the ability to select their own price. Uh, I prefer to have a subscription on, on this kind of a network. The billing frequency, how you want an annual, quarterly, every six months, two weeks, weekly, daily. It gives you lots of options there. Your monthly price and then today's price. So if you have a setup fee involved, you can, increase, you can include that here as well. Is there a trial period? How long is the trial period? And um, how long are you going to be rebilling this? And so we're going to say indefinite, and that is, of course, until they cancel. And then lastly, are you going to send your customer an invoice for every recurring payment? I prefer to, to do so. And, and then that's it. So limit the quantity available. You can limit how many they can purchase. I, I don't like to set a limit. Um, and then after you've selected, you've done your pricing, you save it. From pricing, you go, you can calculate sales tax automatically if you like if you want to add sales tax to every order you can um, customize your customer's invoice if you want to get more advanced and detailed on that so there's a lot of um, a lot of things that you can do here's a preview for example of what a customer invoice might look like within the Thrivecart system um, actually it's not showing me the invoice itself it's giving me that so let's just move on so next is the order bump this is where we can start adding more things and then here you just edit it like you would any kind of HTML editor and just start typing away and giving what your offer is um, you can set the price here and it, whether it's digital or physical product next you go to your processors we've already set up stripe and PayPal you can edit your processors there's multiple PayPal GPay I'm sorry, Apple Pay and GPay are options as well as, as, well as authorized.net. So we just have those two set up so far. And then you, have, you can manage and edit your affiliates through this system as well, which is amazing. Um, so no more need for like affiliate WP or something like that in order to have an affiliate program. So if you wanted to edit your commissions settings, how much do you want to pay? Is it going to be a percentage, a fixed fee, and so forth? There's a lot of different... Uh, things that you can choose within here for your for your affiliates next in setting up your fulfillment how's it going to be delivered uh, your success URL we're going to come back to this because this is important um, this is where we're going to change we, we need to make a change inside of Thrivecart I'm sorry inside of WP Ultimo settings um, to come back to this where your success URL is going to go point to um, check out you, you have multiple options for the types of pages that they land on so if you have other products you can have um, different types of product or I'm sorry checkout pages like these but with Thrive with the WP Ultimo integration we prefer to use this one as a pop-up it seemed to make the most sense within that process so that's the one we have but you can go in there and actually edit customize that as much as you want you can change add a countdown timer um, there's just lots of things that they have that's really simple and easy to do and change and here's your success page. So when a purchase is complete, redirect to your custom page. And this is what we want, actually, not what I said last. This is what we're going to make sure that we have this selected when we're setting it up with inside of WP Ultima. And then they have a lot of tracking codes and stuff that you can also implement and behaviors. If you want to add rules for um, someone that purchased the main product, what you want them to do, if there's a refund, if there's uh, if they take advantage of the bump offer, if there's a there's just a lot of opportunity here to um, to edit, there are some behavior rules, but that's more detailed and advanced stuff within Thrivecart. I don't want to really get into all of this at this point in time. I just want to show you how we have it integrated again with WP Ultima. So I'm going to go back to my products. Once the product is created, you can get the URL. But before I do that, I want to show you one other positive feature uh, for Thrivecart, and that is there you can create a funnel. So Let's assume that we wanted to create a funnel. And what that allows us to do is have multiple upsells, up to five upsells within their system. So I'm just going to pretend like I'm doing it. 
uh, enter a success URL. You pick the product that you want to use as an upsell. You, you enter the success URL. And is this going to replace the previous product? So if you have, like for example, three plans within your network and they signed up for the middle plan and then you want to give them an upsell of the third plan at a discounted price or something to that effect, um, this is where you would do that. And you can also upsell other types of pro uh, services that you have or even products for that matter. Um, plugins and so forth if you want to offer those things and you just have to set those up as individual products within Thrivecart and here's your upsells you can create all as many upsells and downsells as you'd like you can split a B test things it's pretty incredible what Thrivecart can do and that's why I think it's a, a perfect tool for WP Ultima so now that we have this information again we're gonna click on get URL we're gonna grab this information here just copy it and once I copy it, I'm going to go back to my Thrivecart settings within the um, payment gateways on WP Ultimo. And we go down here to this embed script. You want to paste this in there. And that's going to give you, give the system all of the um, classes, see, uh, classes for the code and what, how it's going to display over here. And so you want to just do that one time. And when you're working on a specific product, you want to take this number, your product ID number, and put it onto the product that you have in one of your plans. So if I had a plan for that particular um, product that I just created, I would put that, let's say, for example, that would go here. And now it knows that when someone orders this, it's going to send them through that whole entire process that we just created within Thrivecart. Um, this is not a real one, so I'm not going to really do that right now. And, but that's how that works, and that's why we have these numbers. And you just grab that from right here. So going back to um, the notes, because now that we've done the plan settings, we've done the account settings, you've understood that, and the button settings. If you look up here, we have some instructions on how to do all of this. Um, you have to change the success URL on each Thrivecart product to this um, address. So you just copy this and paste it back over into th your Thrivecart. So you can go back here and go to your products. I'm just going to edit this product. And let's see where we have this fulfillment success URL. We're going to paste it right there uh, for that particular product. Or for all our products, I should say. I'm sorry. That's going to be the same, same code for all your products. You're going to paste right into your product on Thrivecart. Um, also, be sure to select on each product success page setting under the checkout tab when purchase is complete to redirect to your custom page. And I showed you that a moment ago in your Thrivecart account. Then click the Save and Get URL button to retrieve your product ID and enter that number accordingly below, as I mentioned in your plans, uh, to which plan you want that product to associate with. And then lastly, we have this Create a New Webhook to the Thrivecart from Settings, API, and Webhooks. Um, this you really don't have to worry about at this moment in time, but there's some other things that we're working on to make all of this uh, beneficial for you. But that's it in a nutshell. Um, and so if you're interested in actually picking this up, we have three different plans. The first plan is $97, the annual license for a single site or single site network. Um, and so it's, it's, that's how much that one costs for that. And then we also have the life, lifetime license for unlimited sites. And that's $297, one time fee, never have to pay again. Uh, also wanted to mention back on the other one that we do have a 40% discount on renewals for annual renewals every year. So it's not $97 a year. It's actually $97 the first time and then 40% off from there. And we do have a 30-day 100% money back guarantee. If for some reason you're just not happy with it or you just thought um, it didn't do what you wanted to do or whatever, you changed your mind, no worries. We'll refund you. No questions asked. And then the third and final offer is um, for those that don't already have Thrivecart, this I think is the sweetest offer. And um, what this is, is that you'll get a lifetime unlimited license, which is this one over here, if you sign up or buy Thrivecart through our affiliate link. So there's no cost to you as long as you purchase Thrivecart through our affiliate link. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave it down below in the post. Um, or you can shoot me an email, mike at blitzind.com. And I'm here to help any way I can. Thank you for watching and look forward to having you guys hopefully take advantage of Thrivecart on your WP Ultimo setups. Thanks. Take care.